praise the lord hallelujah beloved today we are going to read a very important chapter from the bible as we read jeremiah 49 from the king james version bible here it says prophecies against amon against the amonites the says the lord has israel no sons has he no heir why then does milcom inherit gath and his people dwell in its cities therefore behold the days are coming says the lord that i will cause to be heard an alarm of war in raba of the ammonites it shall be a desolate mound and her villages shall be burned with fire then israel shall take possession of his inheritance says the lord will o hishbon for i is plundered cry you daughters of raba gird yourselves with sackcloth lament and run to and fro by the walls for milcom shall go into captivity with his priests and his princes together why do you glory in the valley your flowing valley o backsliding daughter who trusted in her treasuries saying who will come against me behold i will bring fear upon you says the lord god of hosts from all those who are around you you shall be driven out every one headlong and no one will gather those who wander off but afterward i will bring back the captives of the people of amon says the lord prophecies against edom against edom the says the lord of hosts is wisdom no more in teman and has counsel perished from the prudent has their wisdom vanished flee turn back dwell in the depths o inhabitants of dedan for i will bring the calamity of esau upon him the time that i will punish him if grape gathers come to you would they not leave some gleaning grapes if thieves by night would they not destroy until they have enough but i have made esau bear i have uncovered his secret places and he shall not be able to hide himself his descendants are plundered his brethren and his neighbors and he is no more leave your fatherless children i will preserve them alive and let your widows trust in me for thus says the lord behold those who whose judgment was not to drink of cup of the cup have assuredly drunk and are you the one who will altogether go unpunished you shall not go unpunished but you shall surely drink of it for i have sworn by myself says the lord what bosra shall become a desolation a reproach a waste and a curse and all its cities shall be perpetual waste i have heard a message from the lord and an ambassador has been sent to the nations gather together come against 
her and rise up to battle for inherit i will for indeed i will make you small among nations despised among men your fierceness has deceived you and the pride of your heart o you who dwell in the clefts of the rock who hold the heights of the hill though you make your nest as high as the eagle i will bring you down from there says the lord idom also shall be an astonishment everyone who goes by it will be astonished and will hiss at all its plagues as in the othro of sidom and gamora and their neighboring cities says the lord no one shall abide there nor shall a son of man dwell in it behold he shall come up like a lion from the flooding of the jordan and the habitation of the strong but i will suddenly make him run away from her and who is a chosen man that i may appoint over her for who is like me who will arrain me and who is that shepherd who will withstand me therefore hear the counsel of the lord that he has taken against idom and his purpose that he has proposed against the inhabitants of teman surely the least of the flock shall draw them out surely he shall make their habitation desolate with them i the earth shakes at the noise of their fall and the cry its noise is heard at the red sea behold he shall come up and fix like the eagle and spread his wings over bosra and the heart of the mighty men of idom in that day shall be like the heart of a woman in birth pangs prophecies against damascus against damascus hamat and arpad are shamed for they have heard bad news they are faint hearted and there is trouble on the sea it cannot be quiet damascus has grown feeble and turn to flee and fear has seized her anguish and sorrows have taken her like a woman in labor why is the city of praise not deserted the city of my joy therefore her young men shall fall in her streets and all the men of war shall be cut off in that day says the lord of hosts i will kindle a fire in the wall of damascus and it shall consume the palaces of ben hadad prophecies against kedar and hazor against kedar and against the king dams of hazor which nabukadnezar king of babylon shall strike the says the lord arise go up to keda and devastate the men of the east their tents and their flocks they shall take away they shall take the for themselves their curtains and all their vessels and their camels and they shall cry out to them fear is on every side flee get far away dwell in the depths o inhabitants 
of Hazor, says the Lord, for Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, has taken counsel against you and has conceived a plan against you. Arise, go up to the wealthy nation that dwells surely, says the securely, says the Lord, which has neither gates nor bars, dwelling alone. Their camels shall be for booty, and the multitude of their cattle for plunder. I will scatter to all winds those in the farthest corners, and I will bring their calamity from all the sides, from all its sides, says the Lord. Hazor shall be a dwelling for jackals, a desolation forever. No one shall reside there, nor son of not son of man dwell in it. Prophecies against Edom. The word of the Lord that came to Jeremiah, the prophet against Elam in the beginning of the reign of Zedekiah, king of Judah, saying, Thus says the Lord of hosts, Behold, I will break the bow of Elam, the foremost of their might. Against Elam I will bring the four winds from the four quarters of heaven and scatter them toward all those winds. There shall be no nations where the outcasts of Elam will not go, for I will cause Elam to be dismayed before their enemies and before those who seek their lives. I will bring disaster upon them. My fierce anger, says the Lord, and I will send the sword against them until I have consumed them. I will set my throne in Elam and will destroy him, destroy from there the king and the princess, says the Lord. But it shall come to pass in the later days. I will bring back the captives of Elam, says the Lord. Amen. Here ends the reading of Jeremiah chapter 49. May God bless the reading. God bless you. Numbers chapter 6, 24 to 27. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen.